Okie dokie then. I was actually kind of wanting to do a stream today, but apparently that's not going to work. This world is incessantly magnificent. This is very true. Son of bitch. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so we're off to High Hrothgar. <sighs> it's gonna be one of those episodes. It's gonna be one of those episodes. Okay, hold on. Yeah, we still need to talk about that flea problem. Damn, I'm thirsty. Alrighty. Is day out in the courtyard? I didn't think I'd be having to come back up here for... You better stop that freezing. I don't know who I'm supposed to be pointing at. Didn't- Aldwin? We heard the dragon run shout from here. You defeated him? You bet your sweet bippy I did! You bet your sweet bippy I did! I feared as much. I thought it was him we saw flying east after your battle. We are not warriors. What is overlooked in the Dragonborn is not permitted to any other followers of the Way of the Voice. You misunderstand our authority. The Greybeards have never involved themselves Here in we political go. affairs. I see. The dragon will lead you to Aldwin, but without the Jarl's help. Parthenax has made the decision to help you. This is the road we have to walk. Even the Greybeards must bend to the winds of change, it seems. So be it. Tell Ulfric and General Tullius that the Greybeards wish to speak to them. We will see if they still remember us. Wait. We have to- Sky above, voice within. We have to talk to Ulfric Stormcloak. The Ulfric Stormcloak. The one that shouted a man apart. Am I actually understanding this correctly? <clears throat> I mean, yeah, I get it. I'm Dragonborn. I'm invincible. But, like, yo. But for real, though. Yo, but for real though, is he new boot goofing? Ulfric Stormcloak? Oh, jeez.
for a dragon to attack Kynesgrove. Why? Is no place safe? Okay, 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 hold on. You're giving me too many... Why are you giving me so many freaking... Which way do I go? Which way do I go? Well, which way do they go, George? Which way do they go? I guess I'll go to that one. It's giving me too many here. I can't... I wonder. Already your weapon, my friend. There is killing to be done. Already got it. Leg of goat. Wait, does it still work? Yeah. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? I can't get any movement around here. Bad time to record. What's this nos? Oh, it's a goat. Where are we at? Not even going the right way. Did I literally just walk up there and then go the wrong way? That's literally what I did. Face, why is that face so fucking funny? <laughs> oh, okay, I see where we're at now. Kinds Grove, okay, yeah, 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 I know where we're at now. Fucking Delphine. As we came up this way, Kynes Grove is that way. Okay. So, what was that? I'll take it. So, instead of. I know what I saw. I know what I saw. I'm not gonna get it. You get it. You answer that phone. It's not mine. Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna let myself in. You come here where you're not wanted. You eat our food, you pollute our city with your stink, and you refuse to help the go. storm cloaks. But we haven't taken a side because it's not our fight. Hey, maybe the reason these Grayskins don't help in the war is because they're Imperial spies. Imperial spies? You can't be serious. Maybe we'll pay you a visit tonight, little spy. We got ways of finding out what you really are. Oh. <sighs> Always walking into I shit. I do not like it here. Do you hate the Dark Elves? Are you here to bully us and tell us to leave? Why not? 
You've come to the wrong city then. Windhelm's a haven of prejudice and narrow thinking, unworthy of one such as you. Nothing new there. Most of the Nords living in Windhelm don't care much for us, but Rolf is the worst by far. He likes to get drunk and walk around the Grey Quarter yelling insults at us in the small hours of the morning. Oh, a real charm of that one. Some of these Nords will come up with any excuse to despise us. And it isn't just the Dark Elves they hate. They make a target of the Argonians as well. In fact, just about anyone who isn't a Nord is fair game for their bullying. Hmm. Just raise it! Anyway. That... Safe travels. She seems like a nice lady. Why would anyone be... <gasps> phase. Uh, th that is the... I'm sorry. That is the first ever face that I can make myself <coughs> play it back in a recording and laugh my ass off at it. <laughs> I have issues, I know. I'll be fine. <laughs> Master, you're far too old for this sort of journey. We don't know what's inside. Uh, I'll... I can... <coughs> <laughs> Just... <coughs> you see, you're not well. Have a seat, and I'll fetch you some tonic. Oh, if there was a tonic that could help me, I would have found it by now. No kiss. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was a joke. So, uh... Which one of you guys is going to help me? I don't want to talk to the sick one. I guess I have to talk to the sick one. Alchemy is simple. Whoa. Unless, of course, you are simple. Then, I can't help you. Just a man's life work is all. I finally derived the location of the white file, but this dirty busybody won't let me get it. No, I don't want to. <laughs> if you have need of tonics or potions, come see me at my shop. <laughs> I just uh... must you bother me now? I've almost figured out where it is. I just want to Until next time. I just want to buy. I just want to buy. Master. I have a question about infusions of arrowroot. Damn it, child. Didn't I tell you to gather my notes on submaterial properties? Yes, and I'm working on it, but I'm also... Tr <sighs> it's no secret the Aretino boy is doing some ritual, trying to call the Dark Brotherhood. Who's going to stop him? Me? I'll have no part. Can I help you? I don't know, can you? Where, where's... Where's the person I talked to? Did you use my good hammer? No. Last girl, I told you to leave my tools alone. You have yours, and I have mine. I didn't touch it. 
hammers don't have legs. Did you look behind the forge? I think I saw it there. Oh, yes. Now that you mention it, I think... Uh, sorry about that. Everyone says Jorland Greymane is the best smith in Skyrim. I plan to change a few minds about that. Whether it's armor you need or a new blade. Need some metal hammered? There's no glory in war. It's just something they tell soldiers so they'll risk their lives. Hermit of those. Become a decent Skyrim smith. for the Nords like types. I think I had a hand. Farewell, then. With my swords in their hands, Ulfric's men will send those legion dogs running. I'd travel more, but who wants to deal with all the soldiers these days? So... Hold it there. Always Keep your distance. Someone has to die. Another girl killed. This is Susanna, from Candlehearth Hall. Served me a drink just a few nights ago, but I can't say I knew her. Susanna's the third. It's always the same. Young girl killed at night, body torn up. We're stretched thin as it is with the war. Nobody has the time to spend on this. Not pleasant, but it's the truth. If you want to help, Ask some of these gawkers if they saw anything useful. I'm going to examine the body before the rats can get to it. Name's Nils. I'm the cook of the candle on top. No more screwing around. We gotta get this what done. What is it? Dragons? No, it's not dragons! Face. He's a true Nord. He'll come around. Don't be so sure of that. We've intercepted couriers from Solitude. The Empire's putting a great deal of pressure on White Run. And what would you have me do? If he's not with us, he's against us. He knows that. They all know that. How long are you going to wait? You think I need to send Balgruff a stronger message? You. Only the foolish or the courageous approach a Jarl without summons. What about a Dragonborn? You? What about a Dragonborn, bitch? Is that so? Ah, uh, yes. You were with us at Helgen. Mm hmm Destined for the chopping block, if I'm not mistaken. Mm-hmm. A fair point. Well, you've come to the right place, then. Speak with Galmar. I'm always looking for able fighters. Nope. No. Not everyone can say they made it out of hell. No, no, no. Seems we're all branded villains no, these no, no, days. No, 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 no. So long as your criminal past stays in the past, and you fight for me with honor and integrity, we'll welcome you into our ranks. No, if that was not the plan. That was a sword through his gullet. Wait, what? Take what? 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 That was not the plan. That was not the plan! Are you fucking kidding me? 
His city and leaving him in disgrace would make a more powerful statement, don't you think? So we're ready to start this war in earnest, then? Soon. I still say you should take them all out like you did dead King Torig. Torig was merely a message to the other Jarls. Whoever we replace them with will need the support of our armies. We're ready when you are. Things hinge on Whiterun. If we can take the city without bloodshed, all the better. But if not... The people are behind you. Many, I fear, still need convincing. Then let them die with their false kings. We've been soldiers a long time. We know the price of freedom. The people are still weighing things in their hearts. What's left of Skyrim to wager? They have families to think of. How many of their sons and daughters follow your banner? We are their families. Well put, friend. Tell me, Gotmar, why do you fight for me? I'd follow you into the depths of oblivion. You know that. Ha! <laughs> Gay! Yes, but why do you fight? If not for me, what then? I'll die before elves dictate the fates of men. Are we not one in this? I fight for the men I've held in my arms, dying on foreign soil. I fight for their wives and children whose names I heard whispered in their last breath. I fight for we few who did come home, only to find our country full of strangers wearing familiar faces. I fight for my people, impoverished to pay the debts of an empire too weak to rule them, yet brands them criminals for wanting to rule themselves. I fight so that all the fighting I've already done hasn't been for nothing. I fight because I must. Your words give voice to what we all feel, Uflik. And that's why you will be High King. But the day words are enough will be the day when soldiers like us are no longer needed. I will gladly retire from the world. Were such a day to dawn. Aye. But in the meantime, we have a war to plan. Sir. There continues to be unrest in the Grey Quarter. Blast the Dark Elves. I don't suppose you could tell them that I presently have larger concerns, such as all of Skyrim. They don't seem to be very sympathetic to our cause, sir. Let me know if you hear anything more substantial. Of course, my lord. Speak with Galmar. He'll size you up and see where we can best use your talents. It's about time they turned their gaze from the heavens back to our bleeding homeland. What do they want? I have the greatest respect for the Greybeards, of course. And the dragon attacks are a growing plague. But the political situation is still delicate. Not all the Jarls are fully committed to supporting me as High King. I can't afford to appear weak. I can't agree to this. Unless Tullius himself will be there. I can't agree to any peace council until I know Tullius will be there. The other Jarls could take that as a sign of weakness. You're right. Let Tullius be the one to insult the Grey Beards by refusing their summons. Show up these Imperials for the foreigners they really are. Yes, I'll give Tullius one more chance to quit Skyrim with his tail between his legs. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Whew. That scared me. <laughs> Did I just hit the wrong one, maybe? I hit the wrong one, probably. Stay out of trouble, Khajiit. Or what? You're gonna spank my butt? <laughs> oh, I've already been to s solitude.
Okay. New in town, right? If you need a place to sleep, head over to the Weeping Skeever. Being old's not so bad. My daughter keeps me fed. And my working days are done. The Empress cousin Vittoria Vici is getting married. Ooh, that's awesome. The gods gave you two hands, and you use them both for your weapon. I can respect that. Oh, you th thank you. I'm the winking you. skeevers got Ulfric's warm beds and cold an meat. On White Run. Look like I remember both. you. You were at Helgen. Speak to Legged Ricca. I suspect we could use someone like you. That's not why I'm here. I see. Then there's nothing further to discuss. If you change your mind, speak with the Legged. <sighs> the Greybeards. What do those old hermits want with me? Why, there's nothing to discuss as long as that traitor Ulfric is in arms against his rightful emperor. They are getting to be a problem, but I wasn't sent to Skyrim to fight dragons. My job is to quell this rebellion, and I intend to do just that, dragons or no dragons. Has he? I suppose he doesn't want to miss a chance to bluster about the Empire's many crimes. He's probably hoping I'll refuse so he can blame the Empire for being unreasonable. I think I'll have to disappoint him yet again. Yes, yes, fine, I'll come to this Greybeard Council. For all the good it will do. He'd be insane to try. He doesn't have the men. That's not what my huh? scouts report, sir. Every day more join his cause. Riften, Dawnstar, and Winterhold support him. It's not a cause. It's a rebellion. Call it whatever you like, General. The man's going to try to take Whiterun. Jarl Balgruf. Balgruf refuses the Legion's right to garrison troops in his city. On the other hand, he also refuses to acknowledge Ulfric's claim. Well, if he wants to stand outside the protection of the Empire, fine. Let Ulfric pillage his city. General. You people and your damn Jarls. Sir, you can't force a Nord to accept help he hasn't asked for. If Ulfric's making a move for Whiterun, then we need to be there to stop him. Draft another letter with the usual platitudes, but this time share some of your intelligence regarding Ulfric's plans. Embellish if you have to. We'll let it seem like it's his idea. Yes, sir. You Nords and your bloody sense of honor. Sir. That was interesting. The Greybeards have called a peace council at High Rothgar. Oh my god. But can you believe it? Both Ulfric, Stormcloak, and Jeff. <sighs> I'm so sick of hearing that. Here we go, another episode of me being messenger boy. Ain't it fun? This episode ain't gonna be fun like the last one. So, you've done it. The men of violence are gathered here, in these halls whose very stones are dedicated to peace. I should not have agreed to host this council. Greybeards have no business involving ourselves in such matters. Peace? <laughs> I doubt it. They may put their weapons down for a moment, but only to gather strength for the next bloodletting. They are not yet tired of war. Far from it. Do you know the ancient Nord word for war? Season unending. And so it has proved. But regrets are pointless. Here we are. Take your seat at the council table, 
and let us see what wisdom we can find among these warriors of Skyrim. Excuse me, my friend. <laughs> oh god. Oh god, no! So, no! Arn gear, is it? <sighs> You know why we're here. Are you going to let us in or not? You are not invited here. You are not welcome here. We have as much right to be at this council no, as you all don't. of you. More, actually, since we were the ones that put the Dragonborn on this path. By force! Were you? Hubris of the Blades truly knows no bounds. Delphi, we're not here to rehearse your grudges. The matter at hand is urgent. Aldrin must be stopped. You wouldn't have called this council if you didn't agree. We know a great deal about the situation and the threat that Aldrin poses to us all. You need us here if you want this council to succeed. Ah, uh, very well. You may enter. I should have killed her. I should have fucking killed her when we were out there in the fucking... I hate you so much. I hate you so much. Couldn't just stage your fucking ass in that cave. sitting as far away from her as I can. I'm gonna sit way over here. We all wait upon you, Dragonborn. I'm sitting! Where am I supposed? Oh, I have to sit in my designated seat? Okay. Why delay? Now that everyone is here, please take your seats, so we can begin. I hope that we have all come no. here in the spirit you of- No, you insult us by bringing her to this negotiation? Your chief Talos hunter? That didn't take long. Hear, hear. I have every right to be at this negotiation. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms. Yeah, why is she even here? Concordat. She why is she even of here? The Imperial delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please. If we have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input on this matter. By Izmir's beard, the nerve of those Imperial bastards, eh? To think that I would sit down at the same table with that foul more bitch. Oh, oh, maybe so. But bringing her here is a deliberate provocation. Talius needs to know I won't be pushed around. Feels like a mistake to me, but I'll bow to your judgment on this. But she is to observe, nothing more. We are not negotiating with her. Is that clear? Alfric, why so hostile? After all, it's not the Thalmor that's burning your farms and killing your sons. She's supposed to be on our side? You know exactly... No. Not this time. Now that that's settled, may we proceed? I have something to say first. Here we go. The only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the dragon menace. There's nothing else to talk about. Unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule over the free people of Skyrim. I knew he wouldn't We're be able to We're here to resist. arrange a temporary truce to allow the dragonborn here to deal with the dragons, nothing more. I consider even talking to the Empire a generous gesture. Are you done? Did you just come here to make speeches, or can we get down to business? Yes, let's get this over with. Are we ready to proceed? 
Jarl Ulfric. General Tullius, this council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar. Do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace in Skyrim. Who would like to open the negotiations? Yes, let's get down to it. We want control of Markar. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? Jarl Elisif. General, oh, this is outrageous. Goodness. You can't be taking this demand seriously. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Elisif, I said I'd handle it. Ulfric, you can't seriously expect us to give up Markarth at the negotiating table. You hope to gain in council what you've been unable to take in battle, is that it? I'm sure Jarl Ulfric does not expect something for nothing. Yes, that'd be entirely out of character. What would the Empire character. want in return? Wait, General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that... traitor? This is how the Empire repays us for our loyalty? Enough. First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. I think it's a waste of time. You are a traitor to the Empire, and deserve a traitor's death. But I at least will negotiate in good faith. Since we're all here at your request, I'd like to hear what you think Markarth is worth. Hmm. The rift would help secure our communications with Cyrodiil, and threaten Ulfric's southern flank. You heard the man, Ulfric. We've made you a fair offer. Are you serious about these talks, or are you just here to posture? I expect the better from you, Dragon Boy. I came here in good faith. And now it seems you help the Empire at every turn. God damn it. Hold on. I can't. We gotta do it over again. Now we gotta do this shit all over again. So, you've done it. The men of violence are gathered here, in these halls whose very stones are dedicated to peace. And I should not have agreed to host this council. The Greybeards have no business involving ourselves in such matters. I think Markarth is worth. <sighs> Maybe this one. In exchange for Markarth, the source of most of Skyrim silver. Hardly. Riften seems like a better choice to me. Well fortified, easily resupplied from across Lake Honric, plus all the mead we can drink. Not enough to outweigh the loss of Markarth. With the reach in enemy hands, our whole position in solitude would be threatened. Fair enough. I was hoping you could put aside your loyalties for the greater good, but I see you're firmly in Ulfric's camp. Still, Winterhold would allow us to directly threaten the rebel supply lines out of Windhelm. Better than nothing, I suppose. But Ulfric will need to offer a lot more if he wants me to give up Markarth without a fight. The Dragonborn has spoken, Talius. Markarth will be ours. No, you know what? Fuck it. I don't know! I don't know! I don't know what I want! This would be so much easier. <sighs> I 
Hold up. I can't. I can't. I don't want to. I, I don't want. I don't want Ulfric favoring me. I just don't. I don't like him. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? Jarl Elisif. General, All this is outrageous. Lives. You can't be taking He's this the enemy. seriously. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Elisif, I said I'd handle it. Ulfric, you can't seriously expect us to give up Markarth at the negotiating table. You hope to gain in council what you've been unable to take in battle, is that it? I'm sure Jarl Ulfric does not expect something for nothing. Yes, that'd be entirely What would the Empire character. want in return? Wait, General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that... traitor? This is how the Empire repays us for our loyalty? Enough. First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. I think it's a waste of time. You are a traitor to the Empire, and deserve a traitor's death. But I at least will negotiate in good faith. Since we're all here at your request, I'd like to hear what you think Mark Arth is worth. Hmm. The rift would help secure our communications with Cyrodiil, and threaten Ulfric's southern flank. You heard the man, Ulfric. We've made you a fair offer. Are you serious about these talks, or are you just here to posture? I expect the better from you, Dragon Boy. I came here in good faith, and now it seems you held the Empire at every turn. Oh well. As for you, General Tullius, I see now that Garmar was right. Talking to the Empire is just as useless as ever. If you think you can hold Markarth, you're as deluded as your Emperor when he signed away our freedom to Lothalmor. Skyrim will never again bow to your false empire! Let's go, Galmar. I should have listened to you in the first place. You always were a fool, Ulfric. You're no better at diplomacy than you are in the battlefield. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pity disagreements? Here you sit arguing about nothing. While the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Is he with you, Delphine? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. He is with me. And I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Aldrin has returned, the world eater. Even now, he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? A very pretty speech. But what does Shut it have up. to do with the... <laughs> if he's right about Aldrin, we both have just as much to lose here, Tullius. Remember that. Fucking retard over here can't decide what he wants to do. Old dumbass. Esburn, sit the fuck down. Esburn, fucking sit down. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're actually waiting on him to sit down. You just fucking had to get up. You and Delphine, I swear, y'all are the bane of my existence. Oh my god. Oh my god. And I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Aldrin has returned. The World Eater. Even now, he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? A very pretty speech. But what does Shut it have up. to do with a- If he's right about Aldrin, 
We both have just as much to lose here, Tullius. Remember that. Now, back to the matter at hand. Don't hand me a mug of sheep's piss and call it meat. These terms are still not acceptable. I'm sure you have something in mind. Damn right we do. You surrender Yal March to us, and take Idgrod Ravencrone with you. Surely the Builder will take over as Jarl of Marthal. Where do these demands stop, Ulfric? Do you expect me to surrender all of Skyrim? It seems I have no choice but to let the Dragonborn decide. Although I'm starting to doubt your fairness. What say you, Dragonborn? What? Why? I gotta... Why? Spoken like a true son of Skyrim. I suppose that's the fairest deal we're likely to get. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, these are the terms currently on the table. Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces, Jarl Edmund will step down, and Thangvor Silverblood will become <coughs> the Jarl of Markarth. The Stormcloaks will withdraw from the Rift, allowing Imperial troops unhindered access. Jarl Leila Lawgiver will step down, and Maven Blackbriar will become the Jarl of Riften. Jarl March will be turned over to Ulfric, with Sorley the Builder assuming the Jarl ship. She you both to. agree to this? The sons of Skyrim will live up to their agreements, as long as the Imperials hold to theirs. What about you, Elisif? Are these terms to your liking? Speak up! I'm sure General Tullius is waiting to do your bidding. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Elisif. I appreciate your loyalty. The Empire can live with these terms, yes, for a temporary truce, until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. After that, Ulfric, there will be a reckoning. Count on it. Come on, Galmar. We have a lot of work to do. Giving up Markarth is a heavy price for this truce, Dragonborn. I hope it was worth it. Jarl Balgruf. I assume you are familiar with the Dragonborn's plan? Yes. I'm ready to do my part. Just say the word, and my men will help you spring this trap. But the difficulty remains how to lure a dragon to Dragon's Reach at all. Well, that's an excellent question. You haven't overlooked that little detail, have you? Ah, I believe I can be of help here. I anticipate. While you were arranging this meeting, I was busy in the library of Skyhaven Temple, an unguessed trove of lost lore. But the important thing is that the blades recorded many of the names of dragons they slew. Cross-referencing this with Delphine's map of dragon burial sites, I believe I've identified one of the dragons that Alduin has raised up. Ah, don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power, shouts. By calling the dragon with a voice, he will hear you wherever he might be. He's not compelled to, but dragons are prideful by nature and loath to refuse a challenge. Your voice in particular is likely to intrigue this dragon after your victory over Alderaan. I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist investigating your call. Ah, indeed. I'm no master of the voice, like these worthy gentlemen. But it is written here, in the scroll. Oda Vin, winged snow hunter, as I read it. I hope this truth gives you what you need. It won't last. There's one more thing. We know. 
Parthenax, the dragon that the Greybeards have been protecting for all these years. But you need to die now. He needs to die. No. Nope. He deserves to die. And it falls to you to kill him. No. Nope. Until he's dead. Well, I'm sorry, but we would dishonor our oaths as blades if we continue to nope. help you. No. Nope. Do the right thing. Parthenax deserves to die. No. Nope. Make your choice, Dragonborn. You're either with us or against us. Nope, I'm against. Here's the big picture. He helped Alduin enslave our ancestors. He may have betrayed Alduin in the end, but that makes him worse, not better. We can't afford to give Parthenax the opportunity to betray us in turn and return to his old master. Nope. Not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. Do the right thing. Parthenax deserves to die. Nope. Not gonna happen. It ain't gonna happen. If anyone's gonna die, it's gonna be you. I'd rather kill you, bitch. <laughs>